made it, lost it, came back, flipped it. Always made it, lift it. Hit that corner, whipped it. Hit that dealer, whipped it. I always whining. Mind your business, I'm always high. Sky ain't the limit. Ball like mellow, cars on tennis. Chain black, yellow, Pittsburgh filler. Caught it, knocked it, tossed it, flipped it. Took my flow and switched it. Took my dough and invested it. Your whole life is scripted. All we do is party, drinking, Molly, ragging, shawty, bragging, money, done retarded. Car, press the button, started. I proud to be a dope boy, ride with the cold boy, strap with a low boy, 54 show boy. Niggas made a rain, I made a snow boy. Started with a dollar and hope boy, now a nigga hot, got millions in the bank. Crib on the water, spend milli on the tank. Montana Peace look silly on the lake. Montana Wiz, spend milli on the dank. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today, before we get into the episode, I just want to let you guys know something real quick. Those of you who have not checked out my blog, for which the link will be in the description, maximiliummustknow.blogspot.com, please do. It is a really serving as a companion uh, for these videos, and I don't think you'll get the most out of my videos if you don't want, uh, follow the blog, because while I talk about the fragrances on here, I sort of talk about on there why I'm buying that fragrance and you know what transpired when I bought that fragrance and I talk about fragrances that I never get to review here um, you know samples I get from decant shop just stuff that really doesn't get featured all the time on here is going to be on that blog as well as uh, videos from the internet sort of um, you know uh, viral videos uh, that I think are, are worthy some food stuff definitely a, a hell of a lot of music and fragrances, grooming, and fashion will all be on the blog. So I've been updating it pretty regularly as of recent, two to three times a day usually with stuff, content. So definitely check it out because I'll be honest with you guys, the only way I'm going to be able to make that work and continue to update it is if people want it and uh, people do go there. So, you know, I got over a thousand subscribers. Appreciate that so much. Guys, please go to the blog and check that out. Again, link will be in the description. But what we're here today for is, it, I think this is a really important video. And I'm doing a video on how a man should care for his face. Um, and I'm going to be doing a couple of these videos, walk you through a pretty simple process that you can use every day to look and feel your best. And where this is really going to pay off in spades for you, I think, is as you age. You know, when you get older, you're going to get wrinkles. And if we're all vain enough now to care uh, about how we smell so much that we watch and make videos about it, then uh, this is important too. And I'm going to provide you with recommendations for products at every price point that you can use to achieve the process of caring for the skin on your face. Um, my recommendation is four steps, very easy. You can do it once a day, you could do it twice a day. Um, on days that I shave, I do it once a day. On days that I um, don't shave, I do it twice. And I usually, sometimes I'll take a day off every couple of weeks. And that brings me to another point, piece of advice. Uh, if you can get away with not shaving every day, I would say don't. Because while it exfoliates your skin, think about the fact that you are dragging a razor sharp blade across your face. And if you're using a cartridge razor, like um, a Fusion or whatever, um, or an injector, then you're bringing, you're dragging three to four to five sharp blades across your face and um, so I think if you can get away with not doing that every day I'd recommend that you sh you shouldn't um, now I did do a shaving routine video and you can check that out I also did a general grooming routine video but that those are going to be different than this this is caring for your face so step one part is the face washing step and this is the most basic you know whether you live in a big city like New York or a small town uh, when you're outdoors bacteria dust dirt is all over the place and unless you rob banks 24 7 nothing's gonna block your face so I really recommend washing it once in the morning and then at night no matter what uh, I take at least two showers a day. I like to do one in the morning and one at night. And each time in the shower, I wash my face. Now, there are multiple products I've used. We'll go over a couple quickly. And let me also say that I think it's important to not use the same soap or shower gel that you use to wash your body with. The skin on your face is different. It's thinner. Uh, it's more delicate. So you want to use a little dollop, whichever cleanser you choose. Massage it over your face in small circles and rinse it off. Now, a couple of products that I really like are Kiehl's Facial Fuel Energizing Wash, which can run you about 20 bucks. Uh, Aesop's Parsley Seed Facial Cleanser, 
which runs I think $40 to $60. And my personal favorite is a Japanese one that I've talked so much about. Uh, it's from a company called Cambo and their product is called Nave Face Wash. And um, you can find this on Amazon as well as Asian markets for about six to eight bucks a tube. Uh, that is this guy right here. They make many different um, scents there's a peach one a pomegranate one a rose one an aloe one a mint one they're all really good i think the rose is the most popular but i kind of like the aloe uh one which is this one because it's got a kind of a fresh green smell i've never recommended this product to someone who has then gone back to their prior face wash so please check this one out the value is exceptional it lathers up so much from just a tiny tiny dab and you can really feel it clean your face but all the face washes i mentioned are really good the asap one uh the keels one and the nave one i like nave the best um, second part of this, so once you're out of the shower and you've patted your face dry with a clean towel, what's next? This is a step that a lot of men miss and once, uh, and one that you really need to do, okay? Get yourself a bag of cotton balls from a pharmacy. It probably costs you a dollar. And then you're going to get yourself a product called a toner, a toner for men's skin. Again, there's options here, guys. Baxter's of California has an herbal mint one, which is great. Uh, that's $18 on Amazon. Anthony Logistics has actual toner pads that you just pull out from a little jar and you can get 60 of those for 15 bucks. Now my preference is Kiehl's. This is an Asahi um, damage protecting toner mist and they had a project where they had all kinds of artists do um, labels, different labels and I got the Pharrell Williams one. I think these were in the only NYC Kiehl's um, in Bloomingdale's and so they don't actually even make this toning product anymore but I really like it because it has a sai in it and it's a spray so you can just spray it right on your face and then I use a cotton pad to distribute it. Um, as I said, this is out of production, so I think when I'm done with this, I'm going to move on to the Baxter Herbal Mint one. Now, you might be thinking, Max, why do I need to tone? <laughs> and it's a very good question, and, and one that I've wondered about myself. I got a facial a few years ago as a birthday gift, and I asked the esthetician, what is one thing that men should do that they don't? And she said, tone. Tone after you clean your face in the shower. You know, she said most men do know to clean their face. And most guys she's um, worked with even know to moisturize, but not to tone. And when you get out of the shower and you cleanse your face, what happens is your face's pH balance is off because you've stripped it of essential oils after washing it. So basically when you apply the toner, what you're doing is you're pushing the reset button on your face and you're sort of setting it back to normal. Um, once that's done, you can move on to step three and lock in the moisture, but please do not skip step two. Again, part three, this is one I think a lot of guys know about. You need to, need to, need to, need to, especially in the winter and summer when conditions are extreme, moisturize your face. Um, I think a lot of the other shit get, that gets sold for men, like aging serum and eye uh, cream and all this stuff is bullshit. You know, I'm not a fan of the eye gels. I think Preparation H in the fridge works wonders on the eyes. And I had a straight 10 dime piece model put me on to that tip. Uh, but moisturizing is a must. Otherwise, your skin will get dry. It will get oily. Wrinkles will come faster. Um, this is like giving your skin a drink of water every day and treating it right. And there are a bevy of moisturizers out there at every different price point. You can get them at $500 or $5. Uh, here are three that I recommend you guys check out. At the low end, um, this one that I'm using right now, Zer Correct um, Vitamin Serum is really, really good. Really good stuff. It retails for $20. Bucks. You can probably find it online for $10. There are uh, multiple vitamins in this one, including vitamin E. And it evens out the texture of your skin really well. Uh, Zur also has a platinum line that's sort of the next tier up and I'm actually between tubs of one of those products right now but they have this product called uh, Zur Skin Drench and that's really what I've been using recently. It's the second best moisturizer I've ever used bar none. It retails for $125 but you can find it for like $30 to $60 online. It's fantastic and not only moisturizes but it protects against free radicals and um and environmental toxins and it sort of forms a microscopic barrier it's an excellent product now top of the line moisturizer and i've used this a few times in my life is from a brand called Le Mer. it's a french brand a two ounce bottle of their moisturizer goes for three hundred dollars 
I do not recommend you spend that because you will probably really like it. And unless you've got real, real paper, I, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I spend a lot of money on fragrances, and I'm fine with Skin Drench by Zerp Platinum. I'm going to say this, though, real quick. Le Mer is not the hype. Uh, they're not hype. They figured out how to use kelp fronds, which regenerate very, very quickly. Like a kelp frond can regenerate, uh, can triple its size in a couple of hours. And they figured out um, through photosynthesis and, and light technology how to uh, use kelp fronds in a cream to get skin to uh, heal quickly and sort of regenerate, the cells regenerate. So if you apply like La Mer to a sunburn or skin irritation, it goes away like fucking magic. Every time I've used it, guys, not bullshitting, I had to talk myself out of continuing to use it. Um, I mean, pick out a one-ounce bottle if you really want to see, but don't do it online because I have heard there's a lot of fakes of that going on, and you really do need a consultation with a La Mer skin expert so they could pick out um, the product that's best for you and teach you how to use it. You really actually do have to learn how to use it. You don't just take it out of the jar and apply it to your face. You kind of have to, like... Um, Distill it a little bit, not distill it, just um, water it down a little bit, thin it out, and then apply it in a very certain way. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money. Um, but my point with this is, guys, just moisturize with something good, something preferably made for men. Um, and for all these products we're speaking about today, I would really stay away from the drugstore variety because those are just loaded with chemicals and irritants, and they're usually not worth the $10. You can usually get a better product than what you could find at Walgreens or CVS for either the same money or just a little bit more. Okay, so we've come a long way. You're on your way to a clean and smooth face. What could the final step be? Um, this one, I know I'm going to get some resistance, but I don't care. I'm going to tell you to do it anyway. Masks. Use a mask. A mask on your face, I actually used a mask tonight, will strip dirt and grime and will actually pull it from the pores. At, feel your face before you, you put a mask on and then after and you're going to be shocked at the difference. That grime that's really there for a long time on, in your skin is not going to get away by washing it in the shower. I recommend you do the mask, the mask at least once every two weeks. I do it every week. But even if you want to make it a once a month thing, just do it every now and again so that you can really clean your face and do it on days you're not planning on shaving. Again, on the price spectrum, I have three options for you for the masks. Um, on the low end, these H&M masks uh, work absolutely phenomenally and better than it would seem. This one is a peel-off mask. It's a... Uh, Manuka honey, or uh, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Manuka honey. This is a brown algae youth mask. This is a goji berry super fruit mud mask. And this is probably my favorite, is a Dead Sea mineral mask. These two, the um, brown algae and the Dead Sea, are very masculine. Uh, they're not, you know, they don't, they're, they're very good for a man. They smell masculine. They're not like overly. Uh, fruity face mask so they're perfect for a guy and these are three dollars a pop and I'm telling you they work really well for three dollars um, I, I know lots of women who use beauty products and they've been really surprised at how good these face masks are so you can get five of them for like 15 bucks use them you know once every week and, and you're good to go um, also Lush does fresh um, face masks that they keep on ice and when you buy them you have to refrigerate them um, I think they're seven bucks each and you can usually get two or three masks out of each jar. So almost equal to H&M prices, but those I feel like are a little bit more, um, marketed to women than the men ones. Now, if you want to go to the $30 price level, Pharmacetics does this rose hip and clay mint mask. You just mix it with spring water, spring water, slap it on, and you've got yourself a spa quality clay mask. And then at the high end, Tom Ford uh, recently did a whole men's cosmetic line, and they released a mud mask that goes for 60 bucks. And I heard there are about 10 uses in it, so it's $6 a use. That's a pretty good deal for a Tom Ford uh, product. But my point is there are options out there, and, and no excuse not to give yourself this luxury. And, and, and when the mask is on, you know, leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, relax. L I'm not bullshitting you. Literally relax. Meditate if you can. I've talked about in the past that I had high blood pressure. Uh, I was able to get it down without going on prescription medication by taking supplements and by med meditating to be honest with you guys um so leave that mask on you know we don't i don't think we 
meditate enough, just let our brains flow. You know, it's sort of like our brains are supercomputers and they're always being charged with shit and you got a million things going on. In the same way, you sort of need to give your computer processor a rest. Sometimes you need to give your brain a rest and just zone out. And you could think you're giving a brain a rest while you're sleeping, but obviously you're not. When you're in REM, you're processing dreams. Um, so, which, you know, a lot of people think is subconscious feelings and thoughts. That's a whole other topic. But you, I, I really recommend just give, giving yourself that 10 minutes a week with the mask on. Just lay down, relax, let the mask settle. Then either wash or peel it off if you're using a gel mask. And your face is going to feel so much better after you use a mask. I can absolutely assure you of that. Um, so that's really it. The only other tip I would say is once in a while, um, you know, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get ready for a big date, how to properly care for your hair. So those are coming up. But another one I would say, and this is more geared to like shaving routine video, is um, even though you're exfoliating your face when you shave, you do also want to use an exfoliating scrub uh, probably like once a week on your face because it's going to free up ingrown hairs. And it will get all the dead skin off. So exfoliating is really great. Uh, also doing it on your body to get dead skin off. So that's the other thing I would add to this is exfoliating. But because that's more of a shaving thing, I really didn't put it in this video. But a great um, exfoliator for face and body is the one that Lush sells. I think it's called a sea salt scrub. And it's, it's amazing. It's like a lime sea salt uh, scrub. It smells like a margarita. It, it's really, really good. Um, other tips, drink a lot of water. Don't touch your face ever unless you plan on washing it right after. You've just washed your hands. Um, I guarantee you that if you follow these instructions, your face will look much better in 30 days. Watch. Go for it. Do it. And if I'm wrong, call me out on it. Think about it like this. If you get the, the Nave face wash for 6 bucks, you get the Anthony Logistics toner pads for 15 a Zerm moisturizer for 10 and just say two H&M masks for 6 bucks. Get the... Um, brown algae and uh, maybe get the Makuta honey just so um, you could peel it off because I, I like to peel off masks better personally um, but get all those things it's going to cost you $37 $37 for us we know that's a cheapy designer fragrance go for it and see how your skin looks after a month and if you don't get a compliment I'd be very very surprised um Smelling great is necessary, but guys, it's more than that. It's it's way more than just smelling good. It's a lifestyle. You know, you can't be a slob who sprays on Aventus and think that your life is going to change. The same way you can't just throw on an Hermes belt and think your life is going to change. Changing your life is a process. And I've learned, you know, there's many steps in that process. And I would say this is a really important step in that process. Um, there's a lot of things guys do with grooming that I think are nonsensical and bullshit. And, um, you know, but I don't think this one is. You know, your face is what people see. You're going to cover up most of your body for the year uh, except for your face. And your face is always out there. So you might as well treat it well because, as I said, even if you're thinking about it now being like, oh, it's going to be 20, 30 years till I get a wrinkle. Well, Maybe, maybe not, but you really can uh, prevent it. You know, the, the, the uh, key to health is prevention. And um, the key to anything, really, in your life is being on the offensive, not waiting till problems come, uh, snuffing the problems out, nipping them in the, bug, the bud, getting rid of them as, as quickly as possible. That's, what, that's how you want to live your life. That's how I want to live my life because when something gets too big, a problem becomes too enormous, it gets really tough to try to tackle it. And that's where stress comes from, in my opinion. Stress comes from not um, skating to where the puck is, but was skating to where the puck is. That's what Steve Jobs always said. He quotes Wayne Gretzky. You want to skate to where the puck's going next, not to where it was. And that's sort of the way you want to live your life. You know, you want to get rid of things before they pop up. You want to try to be like a chess player who sees three or four moves in advance. And you want to anticipate things and you want to be ready for things. You know, you want to fix the roof of your house when the sun is shining, not when the fucking hurricane starts. So a little bit of, <laughs> of wisdom from me. I mean, trust me, man, I'm 35 years old. I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I'm trying to do better and right in my life now. Um, and so any tips that I can impart to other people to help them, uh, I love doing that. You know, I'm not doing this for money or anything else like that. 
I'm doing this because um, I love it and I, I really love getting um, responses from you guys here when you got a comment uh, here you got a um, compliment or whatever it's great um, really really is so if you have any questions about any of these products um, or you want other recommendations or whatever you guys know where you could find me maxmno at gmail.com remember to check the blog out maxmno at blogspot.com I'm also going to be on there doing some some writing probably like you know just talking about issues in life and shit like that you get to know me a little bit better there will be music on there always there will be fragrance stuff there's gonna be a lot of stuff on that blog because i can't shoot a video every day i can try to bang out a quick blog entry every day um we will be back next week with three videos i believe a sample shopping uh video a collection update and a fragrance review. So check back. I obviously am Maximilian. Weed man sounds kind of dry. Body mouth, rock star. At the top, is still trying to climb. Drop the top, sit back, recline. 100K, that's just a ride. 50K, that's just a chain. 30K, that's just the time. Four came, that's just in time. That's more racks, that's more racks. Private plane, where you nose flying. I'm bored, Nat. I'm bored, Nat. Rolling up smoke, boy, rap.